Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Ask Kenneth. Today, we are going to do mobility work. Before we do the mobility work, I want to uh, share today's Joker Williams quote. Mind is strong. Mind can tell you to stop. Your mind can tell you, okay, today, today is a rest day. Today, don't go to run. Today, don't go to work out. Today, I want to eat a pizza. Today, I want to eat an ice cream. The mind also can tell you to keep moving. Your mind also can ask you to do five more reps, even if you are suffering. So, mind is like a muscle. You have to train your mind to be strong. If you don't train the muscle, your muscle will become weak. Like your mind. Train your mind. This is so important. So, yesterday, we, do, we did the shoulder and the triceps. Today, my triceps are sore as hell. Okay? So, we are going to do the mobility work at here. Okay, tomorrow, we go back to Facebook. And the other day, we do the IG again, okay? Mobility is so important. So without mobility work, don't start your training. I don't care you do the O-lift, your uh, bodybuilding work, or a CrossFit or uh, anything. Mobility is the key. Don't forget it. So I use the stick. I like to use the stick to, uh, to do some warm up. The first exercise will be the rotation. Shoulder rotation, okay? Dislocate your shoulder and go. Remember, see? Right there, twist, okay? Rotate your shoulder. A lot of people, they complain. They have shoulder pain. They have elbow pain. Why? Because their shoulders are very tight. You can see, when I rotate, back, okay? Not here, back, more. Okay, 360, rotate your shoulder. You can standing, do rotation, or do facing down, okay? Palm position to do the rotation, okay? This one is so common, okay? Especially you're doing, uh, you're going to do the clean. When you do the clean, you have to keep the elbow up, right? So rotate this. Put the stake under your armpit, do this. Stretch and you also can rotate the stick, okay? Core rise and anti core rise to rotate it, okay? Some people they only maybe here, that's why your shoulder is stuck, okay? So tight, leave it up above horizontal level, stretch, okay? You can't do with it uh, with a rubber band, you need the stick, okay? Get a stick at home or PVC stick, doesn't matter. This one is a wooden stick, okay? You can get it at a uh, Canadian tie or uh, Home Depot, okay? Or in Hong Kong, you can get anywhere, okay? Stretch it, Google it, okay? How to do it. Okay, this first two exercise. Rotation and this one. Remember this one, how... How to do it, you know? Like this. Okay, right? Same thing. Okay, third exercise will be the cat stretch. Cat stretch is very important for the start for the spine. Like this. We do 10 times. Okay? If you're watching, do it together. Don't just watch. Or do it later. Okay? The video will last for 24 hours. Head down. Head up. When you head up, people, you do it slowly. Up and down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Use your nose to inhale, mouth to exhale. Inhale. Look 
the ceiling. Remember, cat stretch, you need to know how to, uh, you know, adjust your pelvis, right? This, what's that called? This is called anterior pelvic tilt. It's too much, right? It's too much arch, right? You have to know how to contract the glute, contract the abs. When you're doing the squat, fun squat, bad squat, deadlift, same thing. You can't do this, this is too much. This is run back, right? If some people, they can't arch their back or they can't keep the neutral spine, our cue is more arch. If too much arch, neutral, right? If you do the deadlift, this is run back. Okay, as a close, we have to say arch the back. If too much arch, keep neutral. Understand? So you have to control your pelvis. Have a tail, roll it. Put a hand here, control it. So cat stretch can help you. And yesterday we did the hollow position, right? The hollow positions, okay, also can help you to do the what's that tail? Okay, put to be perfect tail. Okay. Third exercise will be the T spine rotation, like this. 10 times, same thing, inhale, exhale, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if you ask me how many times do I do mobility work? I would say, as many as possible. I don't count how many. When I sit in too long on the chair, I do it. Maybe every 45 minutes, uh, every 45 minutes, yes. Okay, just do it. Okay, keep moving your body. Because if you're sitting too long, your back is stiff. You have to stretch it. Okay, otherwise you have a lower back pain, shoulder pain, neck pain, headache, everything. So just move it. Find a way to stretch. If you're out at the office, do anything. Do whatever you can. Okay. If you don't, if you at the office, you can't do this. I don't mind. You just stretch it like this, right? Side to side, holding the wall stretch it doesn't matter just move your body if you have a rubber band at the office use it rotate your shoulder do the pull apart it's very important all right stretch your hip flexors if you have a lower back pain stretch your hip flexors if you have knee pain stretch your hip flexors Okay, how? Very simple. Knee off, knee forward. Okay, keep the heel on the, on the ground. Stretch it, dynamic stretch. Before training, dynamic stretching. Okay, activate your muscle, activate your CNS. Remember here, see? Like split squat. Before the split squat, you have to do this, mobility drills, okay? To do it, make sure your knee beyond the toes. About turning reps, change side, same thing. Stretch your hip flexors. Remember, engage your abdominals. All right, stretch. A lot of people, especially guys, guys are quad dominant. You have to stretch it. Okay, or keep a knee up like this. Stretch, okay? Remember, engage your abdominals to do it. After that, this is my favorite. Before the Olympian lifting or before the squat, split, okay? 20, up, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Front. Okay? How to do it? You can put the thumb like this. To you know, make sure you get the progression. After this, like this. Touch. Forehead touch. After this, this. Reach. After this, only this. Touch. After this, right here. Close to the floor. And then, try to do this. Try to touch your hands. At the end, your, your, your goal, your ultimate goal is touch the floor. Okay? Stretch. A lot of people, they have uh, knee pain, back pain, because the adductor is very tight. Okay? They can't do deadlift. They can't do squat. Especially when you do the sumo deadlift. Sumo deadlift, you have to do this, right? If your adductor are tight, you can't keep this position. Your knee may drop in, okay? If your knee drop in, that means the knee and the toes are not in a line. You got the knee problem. So open up to do the uh, sumo deadlift, right? Sumo deadlift, like this, okay? Conventional deadlift, right here, okay? You have to keep the back straight, neutral spine. Neutral spine, okay? To do it, okay? Not this. Okay, up, always up, chest up, sumo deadlift, same thing. Open up, okay, see? Back to the straight, okay? Shoulder, always up, okay? Not this, never, like this, okay? After the leg split, we do front split. You also can have a um, yoga block. To help you to do the stretch. First, start from here, stretch it, okay? Or right here, or just on the floor, stretch, okay? My goal is to do the full split, okay? After this period. Let's see, I don't know, okay? I need to uh, switch off. Uh, my CNS to do it. Okay. Okay, I need to calm myself, keep my breathing to do it. Okay, have to. Okay, up the one side, do the other side. Same thing. You can have a big improvement after one day. Maybe after one month, you may see a little bit improvement. Night body composition, right? If you do body compositions, you can't expect you have a transformation in four weeks. You need to spend time, okay? Maybe eight weeks to 12 weeks, you may see a little bit difference. If you are overweight, especially more than 200 pounds, even you lose 20 pounds, you may see a little bit change, right? Maybe you, if you lose 30 pounds, you can see a little bit bigger change from the body, but you're still fat, right? So if you can't see the abs, what's that mean? You don't have a muscles under the skin, or you're still fat, okay? So I'm here not to appease you. I'm here to tell you the fact, okay? So, another one is, what's that called? Pigeon, right? I don't know. Keep the body in the center, stretch. I don't care about the name. I care about the muscles, okay? Which muscle you tight, and then you stretch it. Because this one, the warm up exercise, is to prepare for the training. If you don't prepare, you are prepared to get injury. Okay, you have to prepare for the training because 
squat and deadlift, they are okay. A lot of people, they are fear of doing squat and deadlift. Why? Because they don't have a good coach. They don't know how to perform it properly. Or their muscles are so tight. Their, their muscles, their bodies are not ready to squat and deadlift. So everything have to do it from the beginning. Okay? So if you're not ready to hold in the barbell to do the back squat, the front squat, start from split squat. Okay? To do it. Split squat does mean aka single leg squat. Okay. Another one is the wrist. A lot of people that last time I did the mobility and uh, he requests do the wrist uh, preparation again. So very easy. Okay. Even you are not doing handstand, you just ready for the bench press or overhead press or uh, push press or o lift. You need to do wrist preparation. So like this. Put a hand on the floor and rotate, cold rise, 10 times. So you can see my shoulder reach forward, arm straight, okay? Let's do it, like a big circle, rotate it. Make sure you can feel the wrist, okay? If you don't do this exercise, you will have wrist injury, it's very easily, okay? Keep doing it. Don't skip. Okay, maybe you think this exercise is very simple, too easy. That's why a lot of people, they skip them. That's why they have an injury. Okay, if you are injured, okay, let's say back squat, you squat 140 kilo. If you're injured, you rest one to two weeks. After two weeks, you back to squat. And then you, you spend one more week to the, go back to your purest weight. That means you waste three weeks. Okay? So, why? Why did you get injury? Okay, after this one, will be this. Fingers pointing to yourself. Lock it. And then shift the body weight to yourself. Rotate it ten times. Some people, they have uh, elbow pain. Do this. Twist, like a, you know, twist the towel. Same thing. 老毛根一样, hold your wrist, holding your wrist, twist your arms. After 10 reps, hold for 10 seconds. I didn't create these skills, okay? I learned from Ido Porto, okay? So I give credit to him. So he helps me a lot, okay? Okay. The other side, same thing. Do it. Okay, the lean how you meet Ido Porto, eh? 2012, I met Ido Porto. And then he uh, came to Hong Kong. And then I went to Singapore with him and uh, learned all the stuff, all the gymnastics stuff from him. Okay. At that time, I know what is my next goal, okay? So I start, you know, to doing the gymnastic training, like a handstand, wings work. Yes, that's why uh, I use that tool. I put, I, uh, how do you say? I integrate the um, gymnastic training, hypertrophy, and Olympic lifting. Three elements into my training system. Okay, it helps, right? It works for everything, you know? If you are a bodybuilder, if you don't do mobility work, you will get injury. If you are Olympic lifters, if you don't have mobility, you can't improve your performance. So, everything. You can't just have size. You need strength. And then also you have the, you need the mobility work. Got it? Okay, so, mobility, done. I want you to, uh, because some student, uh, they ask me, how can I do the um, flock stand, okay? How you do it? My method is this. Flock stand is the, like a hand balancing. Put uh, your triceps on your knees. Put the hands on the floor, okay? So, like a grip, 
Grip the floor. Grip the floor. Head go forward. Shift your body weight forward. Okay, at the beginning, you can stay. That is normal. Okay? Remember, you prepare, drop the head on the floor. It happens. Okay? So, don't rush. Just like this. Hold. One set, one minute. Okay? Set one minute. Put the iPhone right here. Set the timer. One minute on and off. Shake your hands. Go again. Okay? Frog stand. Hand balance. After this is a progression of handstand. If you can't do frog stand, you may not can do handstand because you have to learn how to use your hands to keep the balance. Handstand is rebalance exercise. You have to keep moving. Like holding the stick, right? Holding the stick, you have to keep the balance. Handstand is like this. It's a skills. Okay? It's hard to teach. It's very hard to, to teach, but you have to practice every single day. It's like a kid, right? You know, nine months, ten months, learn to walk. They fall, they stand up again. They fall, they stand up again. Same thing. Okay. How do the headstand? Headstand, tripod. Put the hands on the floor. Your head is here. It's like a triangle. Make sure you know how to fall, okay? Because it happens. Okay, so I tuck my shirt in, just in case. Like a frog stance, tripod, right? Like this. Put the head on the floor, okay, like this. And then extend your legs, Tom pointing your toes, okay? Hold it, hold it. And then back to the frog stance, again. Okay, so, any questions? All right, yeah, Phil. Yeah, how are you, man? Yeah, it's not impressive. You are more impress impressive. Okay, your hands then. So, next time you do the live, teach us how to do the handstand. Okay, so, uh, any question about the mobility? Today is the mobility. Tomorrow will be the Facebook live to do the chest and back. Okay. Last but not least, how to use formula. A lot of people, they don't know how to use formula. Okay, this is wrong. Wrong demonstration. This is wrong. Wrong is this. Okay. This is wrong. You have to find the sweet spot and stay there. Sweet spot. Stay there, okay? Stretch, okay, this is my spot. I bend my leg, extend. Keep the pressure there. And then side to side rotate it. Stay there for about 30 seconds to 30 seconds, depends. Okay, but not too long, not too painful, but pain. Stay there, especially your cord, and your IT band. Between that, you feel something there. Okay? And then find another spot. The sweet spot. Stay there. It's pain. If you don't have a pain, it means you didn't, you didn't have a good uh, training. You, don't know, you didn't do any hard training. If you do something hard, your cord are on fire. If you put a foam roller on your cord, you know what I mean. When you do the handstand, do you push up from headstand? No, no, I don't. I don't. I just click up, kick, kick up my uh, my legs. I don't do. I don't do headstand to handstand. That is uh, that's hard, right? That's hard. That's like a handstand push up. By the way, okay. I can't do handstand push up. I'm still a beginner. Okay. I have to be honest. Okay, I can't do it. All right. Uh, form rowing. Yes. Quad, hip versus. So important. Except the quad and hip, uh, IT band, I mean, calf. Remember, calf, this is wrong. Wrong is this. 
Nobody do this. Okay? My way is this. You find the right spot. Look at my face. You know that is sweet spot. You feel the rocks inside your calf. Don't lift your hip too high. Just a little bit up and stay there, side to side. You know, if you, if you did the head training like me, you know how I feel right now. It's pain. It's painful. Okay? That's why you have a big calf. You, if your calf are like this, forget it. You don't have to use it anyway. Okay? It's hard. But after that, okay, if you ask me, okay, does it help? Yeah, it helps. Before the, the squat, I use this a lot and use a uh, massage gun a lot. Okay, and also it can improve my squat. Okay, so last one, so important. That is one, I do it every single morning. Okay, put the foam roller. On the upper back, you can hold it something, dumbbell, whatever, holding it, stretch it. Keep on the floor, holding something, dumbbell, stretch it. Chin in, stretch. Open up your uh, thoracic spine, your home joint. Okay, stretch it. A lot of people, they can, they can't do the snatch, they can't, they can't do the, the jerk, or overhead press. Why? Because they can't open up the spine, right? So when we do the overhead press, we do this. You know, behind the ears. The snatch, overhead squat, same thing. Right? We do this. If our shoulder are tight, they go forward. Up and down. Uh, same thing. So open up the shoulders. Make sure your shoulders are ready to do the lifting. If you are not ready to lift, I mean, yeah, if you are not ready to lift, you're ready to get any injury. Make sense? Very simple. Today that's it, okay? Please watch my uh, Facebook Live tomorrow at the same time and follow me to do it. If you like it, please share, like and share, okay? So, I see you guys tomorrow. Peace.